So this is the JK locker override. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to lift your, your box up here. This is where all your relays and stuff are. There's four tabs here, two in the front that are the same, that are holding this box down. So lift these tabs and you're going to lift your box. And these two connectors are going to be connected here and here. You can move them out of the way, you can leave them connected, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Ease of access, I just disconnected everything. So this connector was connected here. Uh, the wires come out facing the back of the truck. You can see that. You're looking for the wire, two purple wires. One has a blue tracer, one has a green tracer. I don't know how we can see that lighting is pretty bad, but they're right here. They're side by side. So you're going to splice these wires, run a wire inside the truck. I'm going to run mine right through this. Right back there, there's a grommet. You can see where the CB wire is going. I'm going to run it through there. And I'm going to switch it wherever you want. I'm going to mount mine right here. Here's what we have so far. You, it's kind of blurry. But uh, I cut the wire. I've got my heat shrink prepped there. I'm going to solder all this together. What's happened here is I've been able to keep the length of the factory wire the same. Um, probably not necessary, but uh, I had to cut it to get that heat shrink on there. It's the only way I felt that it would be good. So I'm going to solder it, heat shrink it, and then put some liquid electric or yeah, liquid electric tape on it. I got it lows, so we'll see how the solder job goes. Okay, so here we go. Finished product. You can see the wires uh, soldered together there. 12 gauge was probably a little bit long. Um, I'll post under the video whether green or blue uh, for the runner on the wires. Front and rear, I don't remember. One I cut, soldered back together with heat shrink on top of it. The other one I just opened the wire up, soldered, and, and put that liquid tape on it. Works pretty good. Walk around here and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Here you can see I just ran the wire over the top of the Jeep there. In through here, I was going to do it on the other side. I think you guys heard me say. You see, you're just, just running through the engine bay. Here's what we have on the inside. The wire's coming through there. I grounded it there. I've got the switches. If I had a suggestion, I would say perhaps uh, you want the body of the switch to be metal, not plastic. It can hold a little bit more tension here at the at the nut. These will light up if you ground this somewhere else other than where it's already grounded. Got these at Radio Shack. Use 12 feet of wire. This is what I had left over, so be careful. I don't really have any other suggestions. Uh, this one here I mounted a little close at the door. It's kind of a little bit tight. Uh, spacing here is good as far as interference goes. I thought about mounting one at the top and one at the bottom. And I just started thinking about the interference with the speaker. It, it's pretty close. So I just went ahead and went this way. And you can mount them anywhere. Uh, 2011 Jeep mounted them in this region. So Jeep thought it was good good for me. Wraps up the project. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up. Here's the finished product. I didn't set it all the way down there yet. I'm still waiting for the liquid tape to dry. Here's the wire run all the way across there. Haven't done the operational check yet on the rear. Door. 
here's the finished product. Not too bad. Go ahead and put the key in the ignition. Actually, what I've learned is the key doesn't even need to be in the ignition for the operational check. So, don't leave your locker on and kill your battery. Front, rear, you can hear a click. Ever so slightly. But make sure you don't leave them on, it'll take power away. Key or no key. So there it is. Lockers whenever you want them. Two wheel drive, four high. Probably even use those switches for four low, which is easier to get to.